Uh, and send the Georgians back. That's why he's been chosen. Mm, but I think you need more than the boot today. You've got to have the ability to score tries as well. And the creativity factor is the difference, I think, between the top teams and the bottom teams. Even these sides Touch. here have got great um, stra oh, not, it's not strategy, structure up front. And they can collectively drive and, co and, and coordinate a drive. Okay. That's that part of the game has been very, very impressive actually in this World Cup. So, Rakli Abusevitsi, he plays for Orléans in France. Just hanging off. And here comes the charge then. Bacikaitse started both the games at wing forward before today, but uh, packing down at eight. He changes a variation brought in by the Georgians. Shivert Lidze, number one, the loose head, has played the previous games at hooker. There he is, just getting to his feet. Plenty of support when they drive those, three-man drive, which is... Huge kick then by Kovrakashvili. It'll be a scrum to Namibia, unless they uh, take good advantage. Oh, the ball's there for Yuri Van Tonda. Uh, Schroeder. Not a bad little kick, although giving back possession, really. Lukashvili is landing outside the 22 confusion, but Van Tonda does well for Namibia. Well, two players, that's a lack of communication. Two players calling for the ball, but the man coming forward has right of way. And in fact, the referee has judged that it was obstruction. Accidentally. So it'll be a scrum then. Pick up again from the number eight position by Chakaidze. It's obviously a strategy. He's done it three times now. Abusuridze gets it going again. Sloppy play. Comes back again though. And a chance for Macanelli. 14 lining up on the left and offside decision. Two men, says Steve Walsh. Well, were they involved? Unnecessary whistle, in my opinion. So, on a Schroeder. Doesn't look for a great deal of distance, just trying to keep it safe. Because he knows as well that uh, Hugo Horn, the hooker, will get the throw in at this line out. And they've done pretty well in the line out so far with Heino Senecal, Kazon Piazze, and also Nuvenhuis at the back. This time intercepted. Numbers. Georgia penalised having too many men in that the line out there. Technical offence, but it could cost them dear. Maybe with a chance to. Uh, Run with ball in hand. Antonda gets it away on the far side. Not a good pass. A little kick through. Just a little tester for Yurakashvili. But he's done pretty well. Oh, but he had. For the Lidze, the experienced loose head. Have they got it though, Georgia? Yeah, yes, they have. Abus Ridze gets it away and Gavriliakshvili has got time to get his clearance kick in and take his forwards back upfield. Well, there is a little bit of a wind there, I notice. Wind in the rain to the favour of Namibia, I think, at the moment. I'll tell you what, I bet they've got cold hands down there. Yeah. That won't help the handling. But cold himself, actually, up here. But perched beautifully above the ground, lovely viewing position. And there's Kazan Biatse standing at number two for Namibia. Can they go long? But again, it's untidy, giving the Georgians the chance to get in there and spoil the possession. Abusaridze, that was forward, surely. Yeah, it did look a little forward. Well, referee didn't see it that way. Has played the advantage. So suddenly, Georgia have a very good position indeed inside the opposing 22. Well, they do, but it's uh, the ball throwing, being thrown in is, of course, Namibia. 
And they lost the last throw, so that will put a little bit of pressure on them. They weren't quite so confident. It was a bit overthrown, actually. I don't think it was a jumper. So they've only got a three-man line-out to make things simple. Interesting. They've got set. And five challenging. Oh, that's a poor throw. Tatanashvili charging on towards the line. First chance, then, for Georgia to get this rarity of a try. Obstruction, says Steve Walsh. Well, you just got to get those things right, don't you, like that line-out? I mean, they took it to a three-man line-out. The halfback ran into the line-out to make four, and they threw it over the top of Warlorn. In fact, the decision by Steve Walsh was uh, handling in what was a ruck situation. It's not out. No, nope, that's a slice ball. And that's Can't not be four. taken, though. Schienen wearing 11, lining up on the right wing, the man who scored. The one try so far in this competition for Georgia. And it's uh, Maris Visser who needs attention, the tight head prop for Namibia. He might be just after a drink. Now, well, certainly Georgia haven't had things all their own way up front by any means, have they? Well, no, they haven't yet, but um, I think there's going to be a fair contest in this area between these two because this is Namibia's strength as well. But I think at the end of the day, the Georgians will wear them out. We all have our sort of favourites, I guess, as these World Cups move on, and this Georgian team's my favourite. They're the, the team that have surprised me. Just their character and the background, and there's their president on the left-hand side. Good man. Going to be a Namibian ball at the set scrum. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of a lot of Argentinians around who think their team's done pretty well over here, and I think they've got a great following. Duplessis picks up at number eight. But the pressure was good once more from Georgia. And Tonda waiting to get hand on the ball. The Namibian scrum half and to Schroeder. Cut down in his prime there by Georgian tackling, but uh, they maintain the possession. Yeah, but stationary, it's really yeah. hard to use. So they're trying to do that. Well, the pass was poor in the first place, so they haven't really spread it. Have a go, of course. The players have to get back quick, and if they don't, you're in trouble. And that's the option there. Is root the thing towards touch, which is what they've done. Very good kick this time, taking them back into the Georgian half. Europe certainly getting his range, but uh, they were in some bother here, really. Well, they were, they're vulnerable, but Georgia not able to get possession. One thing I have noticed, everybody's got their different style at this World Cup and their, their little peculiarities, and this Georgian team are very different than the way they warm up their drills and skills. That's it, the hooker from Castor in France, got him going once again, good possession. Look to recycle it from Avasaritse to put in the little kick. McAnally chasing. But, uh, easy clearance for Buck. Now here's a go. Now that's a poor ball. Don't kick it. No. It's gone for glory with the drop goal. No way from that range. No, it is well short of glory, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> now run it. Borikashvili. The catch again, beautiful play. Excellent breakthrough by Yurikashvili. Can it bring a score here for Georgia? Dancing run by Kavirikashvili. Yeah, good ball too. They've got men on this side. McAnally goes back in though. <laughs> no, back over. <laughs> oh. So many men on this side lining up for it. Chavara this time is held. No, I think they've won it though. The yep, they just no, it's, uh, Georgia just about got it there. Kirgadze, the hooker, taking it on. Now then, Abu Saridze, the scrum half, organising things around. He's got a lot of forwards there. The bounce just goes their way for once. Yeah, Grigor Labadze. Most experienced player. And surely Georgia must get a score from here. Well, they just need to keep it going like this, really. The just pressure is tremendous. 
on this Namibian defence. Little kick through. Too far, surely. Kvirikashvili looking for the variation that maybe wasn't necessary. No, that's right, but I guess we've seen that on this um, tournament, that that is a little bit of a weak area with this flat defence. Good running, though, by the fullback here. Well, he made the, the break that got the momentum going forward. Then they got some good ball. I had to laugh. I mean, there were several ways that they could have gone, but he looked for the closest target yes. and just ran right and at straight him. Straight into him. Yes. Yeah. No. It wasn't over the line, was it? No. Well, referee seems happy with it. In Namibia. Good strength in there by Corner Powell to look to maintain the possession for Namibia. Georgia once again penalised. So, don't forget then that uh, following this game on ITV4, you can see Samo versus the USA. That kicks off at 7 o'clock. Then at midnight, there's World Cup report with all the day's latest news as well as highlights from today's games. Then, of course, on Friday at 7.30 on ITV1, it's crunch time for England as they meet Tonga for our place in the quarterfinals. And for news, highlights from each and every game, get across our website, itv.com slash rugby. Sad sight for Georgia, losing for Conce in the second row. We saw Victor Dine Beluzzi come onto the field. As a replacement. It is a loss though, because Gorgotzi is a real powerhouse in that front five. And involved in the action immediately, Tedevaluzzi. And Pusarudze, the scrum half. Trying to organise things one way or the other. Zedekashvili, in prompt, I think, penalised. Yeah, but you'd have to be a clever man to work out why. The word was offside, I'm not quite sure in what context. Well, to me it looked like the ball was securely on George's side and Namibia tried to counter ruck That's all. As so, the rain falls down, well, there's a big difference in temperature between the north and the south in France, yes. isn't there? We've found out today. Is. Yes. I'm sitting here without an overcoat on. Georgia with the ball, but uh, going backwards just for the moment. Again, it's on that left boot. Kvirikashvili. Taken by Tonda, but he's uh, thrown on the wrong side, has to get the ball back through his legs, and he's done so. Schroeder. Poor kick. Referee in the end has to bring them back. Spinning. Very disappointed with that one, I'm sure. Going up. Well, he's spilled a couple, Skinning, but he's he's not a, not bad when he gets it in his hands, but I think there might be a bit of a problem with the old hand department. Okay. And he plays his rugby in Blois, in the beautiful Blois Valley. A bit of wine from that area too, isn't it? Oh, well. yes. Olympian ball again then. Yuri Van Tonda. Burger waiting at the back to uh, orchestrate things. Well, that's better ball now. Uh, pretty slow to deliver. Tonda, out again then to Schroeder. Pressure up quickly though, the Georgians. Just as Kazumbiatse was about to start something for Namibia. Again, the referee intervenes. Okay. Yep. Well, territory are searching for ground. Most of the match has been played between the 22s. 
for the man with the big left boot. You saw the effect of the wind there. We had Georgia had a couple of cracks inside the 22. Namibia yet to really get in there. That Georgian ball now, can they create a bit of go forward?